Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Morton and we're back with some TF2 and today I wanted to talk about a couple things and as you might be able to tell there's a new update and there's like like weird backgrounds that I don't really think I'm enjoying that much like they're cool and all but they're just like they're strictly heavy with this pyro related and I, I don't really think that's a very good thing to have everywhere as you might be able to tell this is very different we have you know this is also a bit, a bit difficult different there's some new stuff in here I think there might be a kick thing down here too now. I think they might go down there. Some other stuff's been moving around, of course. This was this was here before. I don't even know if th what I said about this is true, by the way. This was down here. Now there's a meet your match update specifically, like thing for all the update stuff, as opposed to going in here and be like, hey, no, not that one. This one and be like, hey, and look through the information there. It actually has this own button, which I guess is cool, but yeah, not really too hyped about it. Uh, there's a new ticket. You of course I have the old beta pass and two beta invites, but I don't have the actual matchmaking pass, which I have to buy for like ten dollars, which is quite a lot, and that's on sale. That's fifty percent off. It's actually twenty dollars. That's a lot for a freaking matchmaking pass, don't you think? That you're considering it was exclusive before, and you would get it from invites. It's kind of silly if you ask me. Um, there's a couple other things like, uh, let me see. Oh, there you go. Un unlocked cosmetic crates. So all of these are unlocked, you just have to open them. And you'll need keys for them, and you have specific class-specific cosmetics you can find. Which, is, I guess it's cool, but I think I don't know if I would buy one. Like, if, if I had had this option before, I wouldn't have to, like, go through a, a, another source to buy myself a Killish Kabuto, but hey, there's something gonna put... Is there an all-class, too? Is there not an all-class? There are ten of them. There are ten of them, and how is there not a... There's gotta be an old, gla old glass, right? Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's the old class? Multi-class, okay. It just has the... Oh, TF2 logo on it. That's... I thought it was a sniper site. Alright, so that's like a new thing, and there's a Carlton. Like, what the hell even? Oh, this is Disco Fever, never mind. So yeah, that exists, but this also exists. Which is amazing, but I don't I don't know if I understand it. And it's only for Scout, which is kind of like, okay. Whatever, I'd like it for the old class, but whatever. Balloonicorn Bouncer, I haven't actually looked at this one. No, the Balloonicorn balloon Bouncer, not Balloonicorn Bouncer. Excuse me. Uh, ooh, oh my god, Raven's gonna have to buy this now. There's no way he's not buying this. Oh my god, that's amazing. And everything else is normal. Okay, so there's a couple of balance changes that I find a bit weird. Um, I don't really understand them that much. They're kind of strange. Uh, I guess the best way to show would be... I don't want to go into a community server or play casual because it takes two years to load in a game. And I'm just going to go into offline practice. Uh, this is easier. Yeah, whatever. I'll do that one. There's a couple of items that have ch been changed in ways that I don't really understand. Um, I will sh be showing you the soda popper, the um, shortstop, and pretty much every mini gun because it's weird. I don't understand why they made this change, but hey, whatever. Also, did some pyro balance changes, but they, they never, sh they still haven't nerfed the fucking air blast. So you know, whatever, right? Uh, uh, we, uh, I guess we'll just use this one, whatever. It works. Short stop, there it is. There we go. You, you can push people now. I didn't understand this change. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, but hey, I guess if you're really good at that stuff, you can like push people out of the way and shoot them now, which is... It's pretty cool, and it has a pretty cool animation, but like I don't see the point of it. The gun itself is still the same, just has that changed, and then there's another w thing that's changed, which I also find kind of strange. This doesn't charge by just walking around anymore. You have to shoot people to get it charged. Granted, that makes it so that it's more skill-based to use this gun than it was before, and it's supposed to just run away around behind people and be like, okay, I'm going to charge this up and jump around. Now I actually have to do something for it, which is, you know, don't mind it. I guess I... I guess, like, actually, I haven't even checked, checked these guns before now. I'm gonna do that now. 
Uh, I am gonna get annihilated if I get close to that. Okay, I'm gonna get our medic. <laughs> Holy shit, do you see all those fucking... Jesus. I guess I'll help myself by doing this. They don't even notice me at all. Box though. So that, yeah, it goes up by hype now, and I get killed, so whatever. Now, the thing that I find kind of controversial uh, is this change. So, we have, the, we have the quick fix, right? Yeah. The quick fix. Now, the thing that I don't understand about this change at all is that now they pretty much made this weapon useless. And, like, could you not get... Okay, there we go. Uh... And now, as opposed to only this gun doing this specific thing, which is, oh god, Pyro is smart, uh, which is that, you know, you'll be able to run at people the speed of the people, that, I mean, of your teammates when you heal them. Now every single medigun does that. And like, what is the point of that? I don't understand. Like, why would you do that? I don't even know if there, I don't even remember what the quick fix does. I think it just heals you more when you pop. But now... Let's actually let's see. I'm gonna get this scout and see if it works on this gun still. I don't remember. Okay, it still works on this gun. So that's good to check. Now let's get the, the default mini um, mini gun, medigun, and see what happens then. And then be disappointed because this change makes no fucking sense. So let's look at the positives of this. Heal rate and uber charge rate, and then min um, less max overheal. And there's no, there's not really any uber charge because it just increases healing when you charge it. And then we have the normal medigun. Um, I guess I can use... Nah, I'm not gonna use the skinned one. Which... Um, of course, this is the same thing as always. But now, with the addition of the fact that every single freaking thing in the game does this now, apparently, so that's cool. Um, now, you're f now you're equally fast with everything else as you're just using the normal medigun, which is... I don't understand it. I simply don't understand it. This is almost as, tr this is almost as bad as the flog change. And they've made the flog even more powerful. They just made every gun have the same ability. But I guess maybe the quick fix still does that. Or is that the vaccinator? It might be the vaccinator. That where you can uh, get your like your medic to follow you. I think that's quick fix though, where you make the, when you like you rocket jump and your medic follows you, because that's how that works. I think that's still only that gun. So that's that's still a reason to use the quick fix. But there's just less of a reason to it. And I just I just don't understand the change at all. It's kinda strange. And, like, this is pretty much all that I found weird about it, but, like, ah, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this direction, and I also don't like this direction. Casual doesn't fuck, it takes you two years to get into a fucking lobby. If it took, like, normal time, there wouldn't be a problem, but it's, it's, it's a problem. The manager's machine here. Man versus machine is here, like, always, but competitive, I already ticked that, please. I already did a game in here, and... I like how this looks and everything, like... You can click that? Wow, you're learning things here on my channel, apparently. And then we have community servers, which are just in here. Which is pretty much the only way I can play a pub right now, because this is all... These are both, like, they both have levels. So it's like, what have you done, Valve? <laughs> what in the world did... What, what part of your brain ma made it sound cool to change your game this radically? Only for it to not work per correctly. And, like, you have to, like, the only way I can play a pub right now is it's going to a community service because it takes two years to do that. But it's, if I don't do that, then fucking I don't get levels and then what's the point anymore? It's just, I don't understand it. In other news, um, what this video was supposed to be in the first place, af before I saw this update, is that I am currently streaming every single Saturday. Um, after I got this microphone, I'm just like, Yes, we are doing this, and I'm not stopping. <laughs> and it's been six weeks in a row now that I've that I've done a Saturday live stream, and it's been awesome. Last stream was quite a, frankly amazing. Uh, we got five consistent talkers, which I never ever have. When you have five consistent uh, like chatters, that's that that's when it, that's when a stream is fun, and that's excuse me. Then that's kind of what streaming is for me, like interaction with people, and that's something I've been missing until now. Granted, the past two streams before that were also awesome, but just not as awesome. Like, there was a dude that, um, I go into this page? Yeah, he donated stuff, he donated this to me, this, and this, uh, 
and this and like a couple other things that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise and it also gave me this which you know Halloween 2009 item that's pretty hype honestly like it might not be the best item in the world but ghastly arrest gibbous ghastly arrest gibbous what in the world is that name it's wonderful I love it <laughs> it's even tempting to just throw away the old gibbous because holy shit that's a really cool item but yes anyway guys um if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. If you have comments about what the fuck this update was, because I agree with a lot of people, it kind of broke TF2. It's not the same game anymore. And, like, whatever. They're trying to be more competitive, and I can see that. Like, I love how they made this official now. You have to pay into it so you don't, like, people don't just go into their secondary accounts and hack. Which is a great thing, quite frankly. There's no stress tests anymore, and this makes everything more clean. Like, I like how this looks, but at the same time, this is crap, and it should just be the normal, to be completely honest. I just quit the game. And on that note, I'll see you in the next episode, guys.